Alright, let's get this motherfucking Wednesday show started. Hump day! Let's get it! Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off, Woo. that shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, it's motherfucking you know Wednesday! Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off. That shit's irrelevant. <laughs> if I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her <laughs> ass off, <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm dealing it. <laughs> by the way, the boy go by Heist Man. I know- what up, though? Heist Man the Foe Talk That Talk episode motherfucking 73. Today is Wednesday, May the 15th. Hump day! <clears throat> I'm back at it, man. Took a few days off, but today is the day to get this shit back popping. But for starters, we gonna get into the motherfucking birthdays of today. Today is Jamie Lynn's birthday. Jamie Lynn Siegler birthday from The Sopranos. The daughter. Don't really know much about her, except she played on The Sopranos. It is also... Chas Palminteri, that shit. How do we say that name? Is his birthday? He played in um, not Goodfellas. He played in a Bronx Tale. He was dope. He was Sunny. You know, wound up getting shot in the back of the head after that. Great actor. Great actor for his um, doing that um, gangster type shit. So big shout out to him too. And last but not least, that I know of is um. Not the chick. What's her name? Pamela Anderson. Not her. But the dude beside her named David Charvet. It is his birthday. He played in Baywatch. I know nobody knows who he is or gives a fuck about him. Because I don't know him or give a fuck about him. But I got a cool little story about him. Um, Back when I was in elementary school, third and fifth grade, um, his stunt double, stunt double used to come out to our school and show um, us how to um, roll the blade. So that dude right there, he has a, um, not a doppelganger, but a stunt double. And the dude looked just like him. Like, he come out there with no shirt on, little pants and shit. Not pants, but little shorts, little Baywatch pants and little rollerblades. And he came out there. <coughs> and he um did some tricks on rollerblades for us, you know. So big shout out to David Charvet. Like, when I seen this um come across my my shit, my notes and shit for the um birthdays, I was like, hey, I know that dude. Well, I don't know him, know him, but you know what I mean. It was him. I seen the dude before, like, no, I didn't. I didn't see him before. I seen this stunt double, and the dude looked really, really, really like him. Like, hey, it was kind of um uncanny. But it is his birthday today. Don't know how old he is, but the nigga from Baywatch today is his birthday. So, who else? What else we got going on today? <coughs> Bear with me, folks. I'm um just getting back into the swing of things right now. Took a few days off to re- recharge the brain. You know, sometimes you just want to do it. Sometimes you don't want to do it. But Fridays, I'm always going to do this show. Um, talk that talk live is going to be a Friday thing. And throughout the week, I might just come up with other shit to do. I'm trying to figure something else out to do. With the heist man. But let's get into talk that talk. Today in history, in 1869, Elizabeth Cady. Stanton forms the National Woman Suffrage Association. Woman's Suffrage. <sighs> Alright, don't know nothing about that. Ooh, in 1928, Mickey Mouse makes his first appearance in Plain City. So Mickey Mouse debuted today. Um He was doing his thing, man. Everybody knew Mickey Mouse. What um Disney World is um you know, based on and all that shit, the character Mickey Mouse. Eh, y'all know Mickey Mouse. Fuck him. What else? Um, in 1940, McDonald's first restaurant opens in San Bernardino, California. Ronald McDonald's gay. Uh, oh, I ain't gonna call him gay, but you know Ronald McDonald. It was the first um McDonald's came out today though on this date of May 15th. Back then, hamburgers were 50 fucking cents. Whoa! I wish I can buy a hamburger for fifty cent now. That'd be dope. What else? In 1953, Rocky Marciano knocks out Jersey Joe. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. All right, fuck him. 
2005 Star Wars Episode 3 premiered. Yeah, Star Wars, all right. Ooh, in 2008, California becomes the second state to legislate, I mean, to legalize same sex marriage. So, big um, shout out to all the gay people for um, being able to get married and have a union between y'all motherfuckers. Oh, so, you know, that's dope, I guess. Ooh, in 2010, Jessica Wanton, or wait, Waiton, becomes the youngest person to sail around the world. That's dope. She sailed around the world by herself. That's pretty dope, man. Big shout out to her. In 1972, Alabama Governor George Wallace was shot by Arthur Bremer in Maryland. Damn, he was paralyzed for life, too. The Alabama governor, he was a um, presidential hopeful back then, too, in 1972. He was going to become president, but I don't think he can be... Yeah, you can be president from wheelchair. What's my man's name? Truman did it for a long time. Or was that Roosevelt? One of them motherfuckers. But anyway, fuck that. In 1856, L. Frank Baum, author of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, was born in New York. So the Wizard of Oz, you know, the... um. Scarecrow, Tin Man, Lion, Dorothy, Toto, The Witch, all them. The nigga who made that was born today. So big shout out to um The Wizard of Oz. This is one of my favorite. I love The Wizard of Oz, man. It still come on like once a year. Like it's dope. I love the um I love the Wicked Witch, man. She was mean and nasty. So she was dope. So I think that's all the little news I got right now. Um Take the morning middle finger. Who, who's for the morning middle finger? Oh, the morning middle finger. The morning middle finger today goes out to Dennis Rodman. And the morning middle finger goes out to Dennis Rodman for the simple fact that he was accused of, of, of a clothing heist at an upscale yoga. St- upscale yoga. Get the fuck out of here, man. All right. He was accused of a clothing heist. Heist, huh? You can't be a clothing heist. You can be a clothing stealer. Clothing taken, don't be heist. But a clothing heist at an upscale yoga studio. And this footage of him, man, of him doing it. Like I seen this shit on TMZ. I thought it was kind of weird, man. That he a big six foot eight motherfucker helping some little white lady steal some clothes out of a yoga studio. And like he rich. Like he he did all kind of shit, man. If you look it up, you see the motherfucker knock shit over to get the bitch distracted to look the other way. I was like, man, fuck out of here, Robin. You was a motherfucking what? Like a five times. Let me think how many rings Robin got. You know, he got three with the Bulls. I think he got like two with the Pistons. That's five. He might got another one with the Lakers. He might got six, seven rings. No, I don't think he has seven because um, Robert Ory has that amount. So, that's who the morning middle finger goes out to. Dennis Rodman for that bullshit he pulled. He always up to something, man. He the, he the worm. I like Robin when he was um in NWO. Came out there, did his thing. It was kind of dope. So, that's who the morning middle finger goes to today. What else I got, man? I ain't really got that much today because um, I just had to come up with some bullshit, you know? What else? Oh, the Pelicans. <sighs> the Pelicans got the number one pick, and they're going to get Zion Williams. I think that um, it's a ploy to keep Anthony Davis there. Or to have a um, top superstar there if he leaves. I think that um, this shit was rigged. Everybody knew the fucking New York Knicks is going to get it. And I think they did that just to keep, um, maybe to keep, what's my man named Anthony Davis there. I don't think he going to stay. I really don't. I think he going to leave. But just in case he leave, they got to have somebody to fill that market up right there, man, in um, New Orleans. And it's a it's a big conspiracy thing about New Orleans, man. Because I think like the. Do the league own that team or something? Somebody own it for the simple fact, like back in the days, um, Chris Paul he got he was trying to get traded to the Lakers and they cut that deal off. They're like, how are you gonna stop it? You can't stop a trade. They said it wasn't fair to the NBA if, if he went to the Lakers, so he wound up going to the Clippers, and that's some bullshit. So, Zion Williamson, you played for my favorite team, man, Duke. Um, I'll never consider you a Duke, a real Duke player because you're a one and done. Like all these one and dones, I don't consider them real Duke players. I'm a big college basketball fan, and Duke is my number one favorite team all motherfucking time. But 
And I'm used to these to them having um Duke having like fucking four year players, you know? Um, no tattoos, no wild haircuts, no tattoos and shit. This is standard team. Bounce pass, shoot, dribble, all that shit. I love Duke. They play by the regular way. They don't have these wild thugs on their team. They used to didn't. But ever since they changed the rules, Duke still gotta compete. So now they're allow allowing these one and done players to come. And it's fucking up the brand to me because if you just look at the past fucking past drafts, if if half of them dudes in the past 10 years stayed at least two years, we'd have had some great, awesome fucking teams. It's like it's been a lot of number one players, number twos, number threes coming out of Duke, like back to back to back. Like, come on, man. I don't like Kyrie Irving. He did one year, you know? Fuck him. Brandon Ingram. None of these Duke players did one year. You got to do three years to me to be a Duke player. So you're not a Duke player. So, fuck the Pelicans and Zion Williams. Let's have to get that off my chest because I'm a big Duke fan, man. And with that being said, it's time for the motherfucking nigga break. I think I should take one right now. Just because I said fuck motherfucking, um, what's my man name? Zion. And I like Zion Williams. He was bogging out doing this thing. But fuck that. It's time for the motherfucking nigga break. This is the part of the episode where we inhale and we exhale and we release the motherfucking toxins. Sometimes you want to call somebody a nigga. Sometimes you want to call him a Jew, chank, spick, mooly, wop, whatever you want to call him. Coon, anything. You just got to get it off your chest sometimes. And this is that time to do it. Don't do it at work to get fired. Don't do it in traffic. You see this motherfucking Chinese person cut you off. You know they got the bad, the worst drivers. Don't say nothing to them. Just wait till you get home and call them a fucking gook or a chink. Just wait till you get home in the privacy of your own home to do it. So, like I said, we're going to do that right now. It's time to inhale and exhale and release the nigga. So, here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> nigga. Fuck Zion Williams also. And everybody who did one year, dude. That was good. That was a good nigga break today. All right, let's get back into something else. Um, <coughs> Tiger Woods. Let's talk about Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, he is facing a wrongful death lawsuit after an employee of his restaurant in Jupiter, Florida, dies in a car wreck. It's kind of a crazy story. It's like his parents want to sue because their son got drunk at work and left and died. Like it's fucked up situation. I don't see why Tiger Woods and um his um girlfriend or employees or anybody at the staff should be um accused of it. I mean, they said that motherfucker was drunk. Like he got off work and stayed behind to kick it and got drunk. But goddamn, bro, you know I take a Uber. Like can't nobody stop you, really, man. You a grown ass fucking man, and you you know you paying you paying with the shit. It's your consequences. You die. You die because of this shit, man. So, um, I don't think that's really, um, I don't really think it's fair for Tiger Woods to be, um, accused of this shit. It's like, I mean, not accused, but he probably gonna settle out of court. He probably gonna help the family out just because, you know, it's some, it's some shit. But it's all right. I look crazy, man. I'm looking at my camera. I just turned my shit on. Drew called me a floating head one time. I'll be wearing black shirts with a black background and Ooh, ghost nigga. Ooh. I'm bullshitting, man. I'm the Zordon. I'm, I'm Black Zordon. All right, let's get back into this shit. Who else? What else I got? I'll be having notes, man. I got notes and shit. What else? I heard, I seen on the news that Ohio team loses more than 100 pounds just by walking to school every day. He became a fat fuck. He went from a fat fucker to a skinny nerd. <laughs> nah, that's all right. Um, what else I got, man? Ooh, Oreo cookie. They finna have five new flavors this summer. Or coming out just for the summer. And it's gonna be like, um, I got the list right here. Um, mint chocolate chip Oreo cookie. That sounds dope. I will try that. Um, number two is s'mores. Ugh. I would not try a s'mores Oreo cookie. Number three is the latte cream. It's the thin ones. Some coffee type shit. 
I don't know. I might. I, I might fuck with that one. I might. I gotta stop cursing too, man. My um, my father is on my head, man. I'm a grown ass man, but my father he listens to the heist man. He listens to talk that talk. So, and I be he said, he said man, I got. He said he told me I got potential. He told my mom I have potential, but I curse a lot, and it's been fucking with me for the past couple of episodes, a couple of past weeks. Cause I think I, I don't curse to exaggerate. I curse to elaborate. I don't know. Fuck that though. Uh, I keep I keep cursing. Sorry, Daddy. Papa Heist, Heist Man to see you. I'm sorry, man. I be cussing, man. You didn't raise me this way, but your boy thug now. Now I'm bullshit. All right, back to the shit. Number four is the Marshmallow Moon Oreo cookies, and um, the Marshmallow Moon not Oreo cookies. Yeah, it is Oreo. Ah, I am right. But the Marshmallow Moon Oreo cookies, they are commemorating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. I don't know why they say we we went to the moon. Like, we went to the moon once, but never went back. I don't understand that. If they say that's the closest thing to us to get to, why we ain't been back? Still, and still they keep um, sending shit to motherfucking, um, what is this? Oh my, I got to turn my, um, my shit was moving. Oh, yeah. They keep, they keep sending shit. Hold on. They keep sending shit to, um, to Mars, but they won't send nothing to the moon. Oh shit! That's a big fucking spider. Oh my daughter, she seen the Oh this shit huge. Be quiet, girl. Oh look, I gotta turn this off. This shit huge. This shit is huge. 